sometimes we encourage farms to grow things and not, I haven't yet quite explored the market. So part of my work is market exploration, even test marketing local, local um, farmers markets, um, retail places, introducing and writing um, what's called extension educational bulletins to give consumers and educators information on new crops that we might be growing at Virginia State University Randolph Farm um, that they could try. Well, one of the things at VSU is that um, our target audience is actually limited resource, uh, even African American or minority um, clientele. Well, one of the things that they're plagued with um, in some cases is diabetes, and diabetes is a vicious disease. Um, but actually, Dr. Rafi, who's my colleague, he's a horticultural specialist. He's been um, trying to promote this very little fruit, which I just picked off the vine, called bitter melon. But I noticed that bitter melon instantly made people run away from the product, even if it helped with diabetes. So with Dr. Rafi's um, encouragement, um, I came up with an idea to call it better melon and just take out the I and put an E so it's better melon. It's better for um, some people to now look at and try to explore and use it in their meals. It's better for them if they might be um, suffering from diabetes or even worried about it. It helps with, you can look it up, I can't really discuss all of that. Um, it's, I did write a little bulletin about its health promotion, but people with diabetes should definitely look at it. And actually, there's a little blurb about it even on the um, National Diabetes um, website. So to talk about that, and you, you simply just, um, this is actually an, an immature gourd, because I couldn't find one. But if you open it up, it has these seeds. So you'd actually remove them and everything that isn't a seed, you could actually juice it or cut it up and put it on pizza um, and eat it. And it really, if you can do anything for yourself that is natural and not a drug to help you heal, I'd say try it. And I think that's what I try to teach even farmers to do is to think about themselves as a pharmacy where they are providing food prescriptions for society uh, and teaching them how to live a better life. You know, so, bitter, so not bitter melon, but better melon. <laughs>